welcome to the Mill Surf Mike channel. This video will go under the collecting advice, which I don't give that too often in my videos, even though in my intro, collecting advice is one of the uh, you know words that come up. So I figured I'd give one of these. Uh, there are several Mill Surf YouTubers out there that say that Mill Surf collecting is dead or it's become a rich man's hobby. And if you're out there for the easy score, yeah, it, is, it, it has gotten quite a bit difficult. But if you're still out there and you're still in it for the hunt, there are still great deals to be had. Now, there's several places that I could possibly send you, but I'm going to concentrate this video on one place that is actually on the surface bad advice, but I've gotten three great deals there. The Cabela's Gun Library. Now, I know many of you walk through there, and if you know what the market is, you know, usually you'll see uh, used guns, mo on modern guns, you'll see used guns there, that are priced higher than what a you know the exact same new gun is at their gun counter, or you'll see you know regular mill surfs going 150 to 200 percent of market value, or a sporterized mill surf going for a uh, you know what a regular mill surf goes or even higher you know, and sometimes the guys in there kind of have the I know what I got sunny boomer fud kind of attitude. But you can get good deals in there because every now and then they're not great at pricing. They're not great at pricing their guns, but every now and then they'll price something way too low or it's below market value, and that's why you got to keep looking there. Now another thing about Cabela's that sucks about buying a gun is that a process that should take you know less than five minutes, and you fill out your forty four seventy three at your local gun store. You fill out your 4473, they run your background check, you know, you're in and out in five minutes. Whereas at Cabela's, that process will take over an hour at sometimes because you wait in two different lines. Because you know, if you go to the gun library, you got to fill out your paperwork with the guys back there, and then you have to go wait in line to actually check out and pay. And you know, you're filling out like two or three sets of paperwork. So it, it gets tedious, it's annoying to have to you know, wait for something that you know should take a lot less time. So you have to really want something uh, when you buy a gun from Cabela's. But I will show off three good deals that I've gotten over the years. Now, first first one is actually a rifle that showed up in the very first Millsert Mike video, my Martini Enfield. And this is, you know, Martini Enfield and 303 you know, noted by the, you know, infield. I already had a Kiefer Pass, or as a, you know, Miles Vining would admonish me to say a Dara Pass copy, uh, Martini Henry in the uh, 577 450, and my first Millsert Mike video actually went on how to spot a reel from a Dara copy, Martini Henry, and that's a video I probably need to remake in the future with a lot of, without a lot of the uhs and ums and you actually make a scripted video on that. But I got this um, back there. Back then I got this for under $400. And that's and the Cabela's here is located in uh, Legends in Kansas City, Kansas. And there's actually a 10% tax in that place too. So there's another thing going against getting a gun at Cabela's. So you got to take that into account. But when it was all said and done... I had this for under 400 bucks, which is really good, you know, to get any authentic martini. And another thing that also sucks about Cabela's is they make you fill out 4473 for antiques. Um, you know, anything that's pre-1898 antique, uh, you know, is not considered a gun, but they still make you fill out a 4473 for it. So that's another thing that kind of sucks. But this was a good enough deal for me to go ahead and get this. Like I said, this is in the very first Millsert Mike video. And I also made a video on this particular rifle, so I'll put a card to that above. The second rifle that was a really good deal at Cabela's, I kind of did the uh I kind of did the coupon cutters, you know, like double triple coupon thing almost. Because Cabela's used to send me cards in the mail that were like 10% off. And this is before it say firearms excluded. So you know, it was 10% off, uh, you know, anything I bought in the store. And at this particular time, I think their gun library and their used guns were 
little more than full. So they also they actually had 10% off any guns, any used guns. So I had that, and then I had the 10% card. So I got 20% off. And the price on this to begin with was really good. Uh, you know, I'd say really good. This is a 03A3 made by Remington. And I wanted one in the collection. It kind of, uh, you know, I, I had a 1903, I had a 1917, and I had a M1 Grand at the time, but I wanted a 03A3 to kind of fill that hole. And they were asking 629 for this at the time, and this was still several years ago, but even then, that was still a good price for this. So after my 10% off, which basically took care of the taxes, and the other 10% off, you know, I had this for well under $600. So that's really good for an 03A3. And then finally, I got... And this is where you got to keep an eye on stuff that, you know, this is where I think that maybe they didn't know what they had and they priced it low thinking that something was screwed up on it. But I got an 1884 trapdoor here. And what caught my eye was, look at the holding the ramrod or cleaning rod in. You got a, you got a spring catch there holding that in. Well, there were some experimental 1884 trapdoors that had a ramrod bayonet. So basically, you you know you hold that in, you pull out the pull pull this out, and it catches up there, and it, they actually, the actually uh, cleaning rod doubles as a bayonet. So that was pretty cool. I already have an 1873 trapdoor. I think that's made an appearance in a couple videos, but. You know, having an 1884 is also a pretty good thing to have in the American History Collection. And, like I said, this has, also has the, uh, you know, Buffington side on it. But, you know, Experimental 1884 Trapdoor, they were asking uh, just under 650 on this. And at the time, the, uh, I believe the market, uh, for a really crappy example of a trapdoor was about 750 and you know I've seen I've seen you know trapdoors going for a thousand which I think is high and I've seen a couple gun stores selling for 2000 and I wonder what they're drinking when they price them at that but this was a very good buy so as I said Cabela's does suck to buy guns for several reasons you know filling out a 4473 on an antique um, you know, an hour-long process that should take five minutes. And most of the time, their mill serps or used guns are priced, you know, way out of line. But every now and then, you'll find something that's priced below market and priced very well enough below market for you to get, uh, to put up with all the crap. So anyway, uh, I hope this, uh, you know, you can find this helpful. Hopefully, uh, you know, you can get out there and find something. Um... I know it gets frustrating collecting mill serps now because you know, everything's gone through the roof, but if you still keep looking, you can still find deals. So anyway, if you like my content, please check out my other videos. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please join the GOA. Get $5 off with, your, with the link in the description. Uh, please check out my Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and who I support on Patreon and Utreon. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.